Hello, this is Matt with Fidgets and Widgets, and uh, now we're going to take a look at the Fidget Cube by ANSI Labs. Website is uh, www.ansilabs.com. That's A N T S Y L A B S.com. Uh, first, let's talk about the, uh, the cost of the Fidget Cube. Uh, if you buy them on the website, they are on sale currently for $22. Uh, if you buy them at Walmart, they're nine dollars and eighty-four cents. So it's a huge difference. Um, if uh, you're going to purchase them, uh, of course I would go to Walmart. But again, if you're stuck and you really want one, uh, the website again, uh, twenty-two dollars. In terms of the different uh, colors that these come in, let's put that right there. Uh, they have a dice color, which is black buttons. Uh, with uh, a white casing they have a graphite gray which is uh, uh, self-explanatory there's a midnight black an aqua which has aqua buttons but a white casing sunset which is orange buttons and a white casing uh, berry which is pink buttons and a white casing fresh which is lime green buttons and a white casing and retro uh, which is black gray and red buttons uh, with a light gray casing. Uh, in terms of the materials that go into making these, you're looking at uh, uh, pretty much plastic, uh, a metal ball, inside is a metal spindle, uh, and a metal plate. Uh, in terms of the weights, I was surprised that between this is a, a clone, that one is the clone, the original ANSI Labs, and this is the one done by Zuru, uh, which they licensed to eventually. Uh, they don't weigh the same, which is very interesting. Um, uh, the original Ants, uh, ANSI uh, Fidget Cube uh, is 38 grams. The uh, ANSI Slash Zuru is 35 grams. And the Clone is 34 grams. Uh, not that that equates to the quality, but... Uh, um, there were differences in them. Uh, in terms of uh, the dimensions, um, basically on any given side, it's about an inch and a half from the top of the buttons to the top here, or from here down to here, again, about an inch and a half. In terms of uh, what I call it, it's just a fidget device. Uh, the Fidget Cube was one, if not the most successful projects ever done on Kickstarter. It gained $6.4 million. Of course, uh, for two young guys, uh, the McLaughlin brothers, uh, I think the success about uh, bowled them over. And during the time that they were grappling to, uh, to produce enough of these, uh, clones hit the market faster. Uh, and in some cases uh, were of, of significant quality. Um, given their inability to, to handle uh, the demand and the production issues, they felt uh, that they needed help. Uh, the, the clones were, were catching up with them. Uh, and so uh, they had found a, uh, uh, a company uh, called Zuru uh, that they licensed to and they basically uh, wanted to do the licensing with them so that Zuru would help enforce the intellectual property rights, uh, control the manufacturing, set the pricing, uh, create the distribution channel, uh, which of course Zuru has done. Um, the cube itself has six sides. Uh, each side feature, features something different to do. Uh, we have a clicker, Uh, you have like a joystick uh, slash glide. Um, you've got a, uh, a metal ball to, to click uh, with some uh, turning uh, knobs. Uh, they call this a breathing pad, more like a worry stone type thing. And uh, uh, now on the buttons here, the two on the outside are quiet. The two on these two are loud, and the one is a medium. So silent, loud, medium. 
um, clicker, oh, a little uh, roller. Um, that's just kind of really cool. Um, <coughs> I've included in the uh, uh, written uh, review uh, the ANSI Labs uh, website again, uh, the original Kickstarter project, uh, and a link to a video where a father and son took this apart and, to uh, and shows you what's on the inside of it. Um, in, in my mind, these are worth about 10 bucks a piece. Uh, again, why ANSI sells them for 22 and you can get them at Walmart for under 10 is uh, boggling. Uh, as for the quality differences, uh, honestly, between even um, all three, I think they're negligible, minimal at best. Um, uh, if I had to pick one, I'm going to go with the original one that, that ANSI did uh, before they partnered. Uh, with Zuru, they, they are pretty much uh, the same. Um, this one obviously is a little heavier, so there's something in there uh, material-wise, but uh, um, this is the Kickstarter edition, green and black. Um, uh, the clones, even the clones, they're not that bad. The only real difference I could see with the clone was there's a little bit of a manufacturing uh, issue with it not being the pre the, the tight fit is not not perfect. The other thing on it is the actual joystick here. This one is very close to the surface. That one sticks out a little bit. Uh, but for carrying, uh, I've never had an issue with either of them. Uh, they're a great sized pocket carry item. Uh, I happen to have 12 colors um, or all of them through uh, ANSI and their Kickstarter project. I got eight clones like this while I was waiting uh, for the uh, ANSI uh, uh, Labs version to come out. And then I, I did get one of the Zuru versions for uh, testing. Uh, and again, um, very similar. Uh, I don't think there's a huge difference. Maybe they actually made a manufacturing improvement in the Zuru version. No idea. Maybe they took some cost out of it. Uh, I like this one, I guess, a little better just because it, it, it is a little heavier. Uh, but honestly, that's about it. If we take a look uh, at the packaging, this is um, the Fidget Cube by ANSI Labs. On the back here, it tells you that it's from ZuruFidget.com. And there's the writing uh, from Zuru. If you look at the ANSI Labs version, there's that, ANSILabs.com, and then their material on the back. Uh, again, I think these are great. They're worth having. I think you can't go wrong. I wouldn't spend more than 10 bucks. I'd get them at Walmart. Uh, in terms of the version, um, again, the ANSI ones really aren't available. You have to get the Zuru, which I think is fine. Uh, one thing I did notice is on the Zuru, uh, they do have a uh, some type of manufacturing code, uh, and then it says China on there, but they're actually all made in China, so even the ANSI ones were made in China. Um, but if you don't have one, get one. Get them at Walmart. Ten bucks. Can't go wrong. Love them. Uh, that's it for uh, this review. Thanks for checking in. This is Matt from Fidgets and Widgets. Bye now.